few more points that, that I think uh, um, demonstrate this are one, for example, today, Facebook and Twitter both, uh, both announced that they're making it permissible on their platforms to call for violence against Russians, against Russian forces, Russian politicians, and I don't know, potentially Russian individuals who are just, just happen to be Russian. You know, the, the boundaries of it aren't exactly clear, but the idea that these, that these platforms are make, are, are announcing that it's okay to call for collective violence, so the collective punishment is, is I think, can only be supported by a kind of reporting that portrays this as a very simplistic, uh, 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 the very simplistic actions of a you know authoritarian madman or what have you. Um, the the encouragement that we've seen from governments to to governments encouraging people, governments and political figures and media figures encouraging people to go to the Ukraine and fight, just incredibly reckless. The kinds of people who there there are people who are looking all over the world for military conflicts to go and learn from. And the the idea that governments are announcing this is just I, it's, it's it boggles the mind. And uh, very quickly, the last point is. Um, you know, the, the speed at which white majority countries, Western countries have, have effectively declared open borders for Ukrainians. Uh, the Canadian government declared a willingness to, to accept an unlimited number of Ukrainians. It isn't just concerning given the, the sort of inherent racism that we can see in the response of Western countries and governments to this crisis versus others, but also in, in light of the IPCC report, Knowing that the climate crisis is disproportionately suffered by the global south and disproportionately driven by the global north, there is an obligation to take to, to contend with the potentially tens or hundreds of millions of climate refugees. And that conversation is completely absent from what we're, we're seeing in media today.